Today, they just added the first icon skin wheel in Stumble, guys. If we go to the left, John BTC got his own wheel in the game. I don't know why I didn't get one, but maybe in the future, we will get a Baby Yoda TV wheel as well. But it's a 2.5% chance to get John BTC, and then he got to pick a bunch of skins to also be in his wheel. So it looks like he wanted the green theme and then some Mr. Stumble variants in here, which honestly, the skins in here are pretty cool. If it were up to me, I would have switched things up for sure. Like Zarkan is kind of in every wheel nowadays. And some of these other ones are kind of mid, but he does have the Shogun in here at a 1.25% chance. So we are going to spin this today. And if you're going to do the same, make sure you're using code Baby Yoda in your item shop. And we'll take a look at the rest of the item shop probably tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. But let's see if it is worth your gems. So we're going to do four spins to start out because it is a 2.5% chance and it is a legendary. So it might be easy to get or super difficult because again, you did have to buy it in a bundle before now. So I don't know if it's going to be easy or kind of or impossible to get. But we just got a mythic already. What was the percent of that? Okay, so epics and then we got one mythic. The, the Gaia skin. Um, which I don't mind for sure. We got a hundred tokens as a duplicate there. And then I didn't even realize this, but we got Brainy Brian, which I think is the same percent chance. It is. Okay. So maybe it is quite easy to get John out of this wheel, but we have already spent 3000 gems. So, it... uh, uh, that's not supposed to happen. Why was that so easy? In the past, that used to take me forever to get that special. Wait, why is this luck so broken? Okay, this is not scripted or anything. I mean, I, I won't even cut up this video. You'll see my full spinning reactions here. Oh my gosh, wow. Legendary, legendary, legendary special. There's no way these are the percent chances. This wheel might be bugged. Okay, let's do 10 spins. But we still haven't got the John BTC skin. So that's probably the main reason you're going to be spinning this wheel anyway. So I'm confused. They made it impossible to get the John skin. So if you want my honest recommendation, if you're trying to get... Okay, I was about to say. If you're trying to get John's skin, you're probably better off just getting the bundle. But there are some pretty cool skins on this wheel, I will say. So if you get an epic... Or a legendary. Honestly, a lot of the options aren't even that bad. But what do you think down below? Comment if you spun this for yourself. Again, make sure you're using code Baby Yoda. But as of right now, we've gotten literally everything besides the main attraction. Oh, we didn't have Dragon Slayer? Well, that's actually a plus. Thank you for adding that to your wheel, John. Needed that one. Okay. Wow. This is interesting. This is the first time that... The special is easier to get than the actual legendary. Wait, what? Now it's making me question if the odds are true. Not gonna lie. But, okay, we got the legendary there. So, we've spent literally like six or 7,000 gems just to not get John's skin. But again, I'm doing this so you don't have to and you can base your judgment around this video. Ooh, because I like to review these wheels and honestly, it, what's inside the wheel is really good But again, if you're going after John's skin I'm just not getting lucky You would think with 2.5% chance We would have gotten it uh, But I think the problem is that There's so many legendaries on this wheel That you'll get Uh, excuse me John, are you Are you behind this? Are you the one controlling this wheel? What is happening? How are we getting every skin but his? What? Okay, uh, see, now I'm confused. I, I'm so confused. If we don't get in these next 10, I, I, I can't recommend it. But maybe if you're going after the Shogun, this wheel is actually not bad. I, I'm actually, I'm actually stunlocked right now. Um... But there's also a John BTC mode in the events. 
So we're going to try that after this. And I'm going to show you why it's the best event out right now. Um, and it's honestly one of the best events in probably the past six months. So if uh, Stumble Guys is watching and you want to give me my own event, I would love to do that. <laughs> um, which now that I'm thinking about it, what maps would I choose for my own event? Ooh, I think I would do for first round. Um, okay, we just didn't get it. How is that possible? I spent 20,000 gems. Maybe not that much. We're going to do another 10 because I feel like I have to just stick with it now. But I'm doing this so you guys don't have to. Um, and just showing you whether this wheel is worth your gems or not. But finally, it only took 10 years. Um, but there we go. We finally have the John beat. We got the special three times. What are... Okay. Okay. This is actually busted. Actually broken. What is that? What was that? The new legendary special mythic. Mythic. Bro. Okay. I think they actually bugged this wheel out. No lie. Like, dude, what? Watch, we're going to get a special right here. Okay, imagine. That would have been crazy. But another legendary there too? Dude. See, now I'm confused. I don't know if I recommend this or not, but, um, yeah, you'll have to let me know if you got lucky down in the comments. Look at that. Legendary, 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 special, mythic, mythic. But again, what I will say is it took forever to get John's skin. So that is the one drawback. But let me show you the new John BTC event, which has super slide, legendary block dash, and then Laser Tracer Endless, which you might think is just cool by itself, but if you check the rewards, the grand prize is 2,000 ability tokens, which if you look at the Rush Hour Endless one, it has 20 gems. Bro, what are they doing with these events? Like, come on, dude. Ob obviously, people are gonna play the John BTC one. No one's gonna play these two. Oh my gosh. I think they're kind of oblivious, but anyway, this event is super cool, and we're gonna try it out with the John BTC skin, and I'll have to think about what I would put in my own event if I were to get one. All right, so round one is Super Slide, and I was thinking for my event, if I were to get one, I would have to have Lava Land somewhere in there, and then I do agree that having Legendary Block Dash and Laser Tracer is great picks, so I might have to copy John there. Maybe do it in a different order. Um, Super Slide is a great first round though. It's quick and really fun. Maybe we do a race map as well. I think if it were me, I would do... I think I would do Legendary Block Dash or Legendary Laser Dash first round. Then second round would be Lava... No. Second round would be Laser Tracer. And then third round would be Lava Land. Comment below if you could make your own event with three rounds, what would you put in it? Because I might take your guys' advice, and if they give me my own event, I'll take suggestions. Also, if I get the chance, I'm definitely putting ability keys or tokens as the reward. Because 2,000 for free is the best we've ever seen. But yeah, I think I would change it up a little bit, because if we had block dash for second round like this, it would take forever to get through each event game. So if we did block dash first round, it therefore should be quicker because it would wean out the bad players. Um, and then laser tracer would also be kind of quick. And then lava land, obviously for finals, is one of the fastest finals, which it's still kind of skill, but also is also luck. So I don't know, maybe lava land isn't the best for a final choice, but I also like rush hour. Really, bruh? Really, bruh? Ooh, the kick saved us. All right, now we got Laser Tracer Endless for finals, and we're gonna play aggressive. I want this win. First game, first win, let's go. Come on, what up, KT? 1v1 me, let's go. Punch me, I dare you. I will say, I could definitely see myself grinding this event, so great job to John for picking this out, and there's really nothing I would change. You get gems, you get gems as rewards for playing, and then obviously at the end, you get the ability tokens. So it's a win-win, and we're now in a 1v1. What's up, Emilio? How you doing? Any final words? No? All right, I'm going for the super punch. Here goes nothing. 
Going invis. He's going to throw a brick. I'm waiting for it. Oh, and we win our first game. There we go. Let's see how fast you can tear up in this event. So with one win, we got 10 gems, 200 gladiator tokens. And wow, three tiers off of one game. Okay, guys, you definitely should play this. I'm now realizing it's going to take a long time to complete these last few because these early ones are like 50, 20. So these will take like probably five to 10 games each. But still, for free, that's insane. And as you can see by the plays, it's pretty obvious which one people like the most. But to end off this video, let's actually make our event. I want to go through every single level and pick what I would do. Obviously, this won't be set in stone, so I'll listen to your suggestions down below. But I think for first round, it should be to wean out the noobs as fast as possible. So I'm thinking, I know you guys might not like this, but I think it would be kind of funny if we put tile fall round one. Another option would be super water park or super slide. The reason water park might not be that good is because it takes a while. So maybe we go with super slide like John. We could do something like Rush Hour Endless or Shark Muta 2. I like those round one. Or, hmm, I think I want to say save Laser Dash Legendary for later. I could just go with the Tried and True, that being the Legendary Block Dash, but that takes a while. And I want the event to be grindable, so like super quick. So actually, I don't know if you guys would mind this, but Honey Drop could be fun for first round if we had 32 people in there. As long as you're not the worst player alive, you should be able to make it to round two. So that's my thought process. Those are the maps that I think I would pick. But for round two, I think I would have to go with Laser Dash Legendary. That or Laser Tracer Endless or... Yeah, I think those are the main two. I would also be open to Legendary Block Dash. But again, it's... It's so easy to stay alive on that map that, personally, I, I want it to be fast-paced. So, those are my top three. Maybe, let's not mess with the quirks. Let's, let's say no to those. But those would be my three picks. And then finals, like I mentioned, would be Lava Land. Because I like the fast-paced. And you guys know, with these events, if you're going to be playing a lot of it, you don't want it to last like 10 minutes long for each event. As you can see, this one goes pretty quick. And a lot of people are playing it. So... Let me know, would you play that event if it comes out? What would you change about it if you could make your own event? And that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure you use the code Baby Yoda, And hopefully I get my own event and wheel in the future. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.